Hi folks, it's the Marine Reef again. He's my nano tank, my nano reef. I've just had it set up for two days. I've been adding bacteria. Two mil every day, for 14 days. My brother, he's got a Red Sea 250. Um, he's basically given me some uh, filter floss from his tank, two sponge, basically two floss, two little sponges. Um, and we squeezed it in here just to add more bacteria, dirt, and then the wave maker's off at the moment. It's only because I've just glued some corals. So I've stuck one there. He's obviously gone small. There's one hiding here. There's all the grass sort of corals. I had one stuck there, but I had one stuck there, but it's broke off, so I need to break that off. Reason being is because I've turned the wave maker on, it's too powerful, so it literally just snapped it off. There's one here stuck here, um, and then he's giving me this big guy as well. He's starting to come out now. He was literally on a flop all the way here, and he's literally starting to come out now. So I've been feeding him brine shrimp. Last, it's only been here for two days. Um, this little fella, he's not eating as much. He is. But yeah, they're just probably getting used to each other. Tank's still a little bit cloudy. Probably clear up within the next week. A couple of days. So I've just been dosing. The bacteria. But yeah. Um, I'm not obviously, I haven't got a sump or anything, but... I've got a back and a filter. I've just added a bit of... Um, Airstone to it for now. It's gonna be coming off within the next two days. So I'm just to basically give them air in the tank. It's only because I used too much epoxy when I was gluing the corals down and um, it's not good for the fish. Blocks out air. There's no hidden on there. The sponges are getting a bit dirty. But yeah. The light that I'm using is the LED. I'm just thinking of setting up just a soft coral tank that Dow can look after, like LPS and stuff. I'll have to get my alkalinity right on that. But yeah, what do you guys think? So far, so good. Set up. It's only been two days. I'm gonna start adding more rock, uh, more corals. GPS corals, mushroom corals, literally, probably a couple of LPS once I get my alkalinity right. Maybe get an urchin, snails, shrimps. Um, but yeah, fish look good. They're happy now. They've been hiding for the last two days and they're finally coming on. Yeah. This is, sorry, uh, day third. Yeah, but I'll keep you guys posted to let you know how they get along. See that coral at the back? You couldn't see him before because he was on a flop. <laughs> but he's slowly starting to come out. But yeah, if you if you guys can give me any like tips or hints on what I can do uh, to improve on the tank, it'll be good. Um, obviously, I've got one brother, which is a professional. He's obviously got a red seafer. I'll put his basically tank up on the video as well. But this is what I'm feeding. I'm also feeding um, brine shrimp as well. I'll show you guys what I've done to that. Um, how, how I'm feeding but yeah apart from that um, yeah this is basically just a nano reef see how it gets on um, obviously I'm going to be doing water changes literally you can only do because it is only a 28 litres um, probably I would say about what 3, three litre water change in the tank because I ain't got a protein skimmer but yeah I'm just going to let bacteria and everything grow in the tank first um, all over the rocks fingers crossed I get coralline algae but <laughs> that's obviously much time to come. But yeah, I'm happy. Now the fish are swimming now, they're happy. I think they're still starting to get to know each other a bit more. I did buy them in pairs. They were the only two in the fish shop when I bought them. Um, but yeah. Swimming around, they're happy. If I do turn, turn the wave maker on, it is literally really powerful. I will um, switch it on just to show you guys 
the lump box turn it on. Units on. Do you see? It's only because obviously that air storm's on. That's why it's throwing bubbles everywhere. But apart from that, obviously when the air storm's off, obviously I'm gonna put the wave make a little bit down once the starting corals and they start coming out more. But you can see that coral already moving. Um it's enough flow in the tank. Literally, you can see everything moving. Well I've just turned it off for now just so the fish don't stress out. Um but yeah, they seem happy, they seem good. I'm gonna keep you guys posted to let you know what more I add, any more corals, etc. This is only in what this third day call it, yeah, sorry. So it's been the third day. Um and I will keep you guys posted to let you know what I've done moving forward. I did more stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna turn the wave maker off properly for now. Just so they don't stress out as much. And I will probably put it on by end of the week once I've turned off the air stone. Got rid of the air stone. Update, quick little update on the sank. What's that? What? What's that? It's a marine tank, darling. Look at the marine tank. Oh, 